So hey guys, today I am going to be doing a more affordable get ready with me. Um, there are a couple of exceptions because I just haven't got anything I could replace it with. Um, although I do want to find some like kind of more affordable dupes. Like these things aren't super high end. I've got like a couple of things from Smashbox and stuff. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any recommendations for kind of more affordable primers, that's where I'm using high end things. I'm just going to get straight into it and talk whilst I'm going. So I'm going to use the Smashbox Under Eye Hydrating Primer. Yeah, if you have any kind of recommendations of primers, I'm just going to take a teeny tiny bit. Then let me know because I want to try some more affordable primers because I've run out of most of my primers at the moment and I'm just using a couple that I've got like little sample sizes of. Yeah, I feel like this looks really dark. I'm going to have to change settings. Okay, I hope that's better. Um, yeah, so I've just used that. Just I feel I find it kind of brightens under my eyes a little bit. It's not like essential, but I have it and I'm kind of trying to use it up. So I'm going for that. And then for my actual face primer, I'm going to use this little teeny tiny mini Bene no Bare Minerals Prime Time Oil Control Primer, which is actually really really liquidy. Um, I like it, but I don't love it. So I don't know whether I'd spend the money on it. That's why I'm trying to kind of figure out which one I would spend the money on at the moment. I'm looking at the Makeup Forever oil balancing one, I don't know, oil control one, and I really want to try the Urban Decay D-Slick setting mist, um, but yeah, obviously they're quite expensive, so I'm just taking a little bit on the end of my um, finger, and I'm just going to put it in the areas I find that I get really oily, which is actually kind of this area here, I get really oily on my like main cheeks or my nose, uh, a little bit on my forehead and my chin, my nose is the main area I feel like it shows, but um, yeah, just going to rub that in like so i feel like i'm really dark again i don't know what it is i'm really struggling with um acne at the moment you might be able to kind of tell i've got uh, quite a bad bit down here um it's really annoying so i managed to get rid of it all and then it's suddenly come back and i don't know what to do now i might have to try changing my medication or something so because of that i'm gonna do a little bit of color correcting i have this um kiko color correction concealer wheel and i'm just gonna take I wanted a brush for this, I don't have a brush. I'm going to take this little tiny brush from uh, Real Techniques, it's the detailer brush, and I'm going to take the green, and I'm just going to kind of paint, just like dab it a little bit on the um, redness. This is not a technical skill, this is a I'm trying. Get some more, and put it a little bit around my nose. Just anywhere that looks red basically, and I'm going to attempt to colour correct, I don't do this very often. Next step, I'm going to take the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Well, I've just got a lot of product out then. And I'm just going to kind of dab it around my under eye area, along the bridge of my nose, on my chin, kind of just anywhere that I feel like doing. Like so. And then I'm going to take the Contour Brush by Real Techniques that comes in the base kit. And I'm just going to use that to blend everything out because I really hate blending concealer out of my finger. It's like one of my biggest pet peeves. It's not even a pet peeve, what is it? It's like something I hate doing. I feel like maybe I should turn the camera around so I'm sitting with the camera behind me. I might try doing that quickly just to see if it works because I feel like that would look a lot better. Am I even in focus? Yeah, I think this is a bit better. Let me know if you prefer A or B, A being the first one. Okay, so we've now done that. I'm now just gonna take this um, Anyway, Pro Base Argan Plush Concealer in Fair, just because I really like how yellow this is, and I'm just gonna put it more underneath my eye. I could have used that color correcting wheel thing under my eye, but uh, that would just be too easy. I'm just gonna use that very delicately, 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 because I don't really want to like tug and drag at my under eye. That is really yellow. I actually hadn't realized how yellow that was until I looked at it just then. And I am gonna use my finger to blend this a little bit, and then I'm gonna go in with the brush. Now on to foundation, I'm going to mix this up because I'm using the Revlon Colorstay but mine is really old and there is very little left and so it's kind of separated out a bit and I need to buy a new one but I want to get one with the pump so it means I have to go into a store because the boots, boots online at the moment are only selling the ones without the pump because they're selling them on clearance but I want one with a pump so um, yeah, I've got to wait a little bit. I'm going to use the Pointed foundation brush, what I use this is basically to pour the foundation onto because there's no pumps so you have to be kind of careful and then I use that to just apply it to my face. I do clean this every time I use it and I've got too much. I'm just 
just gonna paint it onto my face. Voila! Now I know this isn't completely full coverage, it is pretty good at covering things but I don't really want it to be full full coverage, you can just keep building it up if you wanted to but I don't really want to do that because I want myself to look, I want to look kind of natural because it's, you know, it's just a normal day, I'm not, if I was like going out and to a party or something I guess I would want to make it more full coverage but I don't really today. So I'm going to use two face powders, I'm going to use the um, Rimmel Stay Matte and the 17 Miracle Matte because this one is obviously it's a transparent one but it makes me look really pale and this one's too dark for me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one in my kind of this area and then I'm going to go over it with this one because if I put this one everywhere it makes me look really dark but if I put this one everywhere it makes me look really pale so basically rather than going out and buying a powder that's the right colour I'm going to use two and overcomplicate everything so yeah starting with the light one I am applying it with a MUA F4 brush, as usual, it's my favourite brush, or I'd, sometimes I use a Kabuki brush, but you know. I kind of blend them in at the end, just because. Why not? Can't really notice it. As long as I just don't put that one all over my face, I'm fine, because if I put it everywhere, it just looks so dark, but for some reason, if I only use a little bit and mix it, you know. It looks better. But anyway, moving on. Next up, I don't want to use that brush, but I don't know where the brush I normally use is on. Oh, it's there. I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer. I'm going to use the Bronze and Sculpt by MUA contour kit thing. And I'm going to take it on this Duo Fiber brush by MUA, just because I don't really want it to be like a proper contoured sculpt thing. I just want to like kind of bronze and add a little bit of definition but not like I don't want to be perfectly chiselled just I'm not really doing anything today but I wanted to film video woohoo I actually really highly recommend this kit because it comes with a nice big mirror a really pretty highlight it's quite like a golden highlighter um but I really like it for kind of more on every day and then a pretty nice it's kind of warm toned but it's a matte bronzer and I would say this is probably the best um, bronzer I have found. It looks much warmer on the camera than it is. It's not orangey at all, it's just a really nice colour. Um, and I think this is only like £4 or something. They've also just brought out a new strobing one that looks the same, it's just like a pink cover and I really want to try that but um, I highly recommend this little kit from Makeup Academy aka MUA. And uh, next I'm going to apply, I'm going to use a, this is like a really MUA dominated video now. Uh, the MUA Whipped Velvet Blush. It's like a cream blush and it's in the shade Spry. I don't know why they make names really stupid words. Like, why can't they just make it, like, dusty pink? That's what I say. And I'm going to use an MUA stippling brush to just apply a little bit of this. I was kind of, like, toing and throwing between doing highlight or not, but I've decided I'm going to, so I'm going to use the MUA I'm going to the MUA F11 brush and just use the highlighters in the top of there and just not too much because it, it's not doing anything really today but enough that it does what it's supposed to do. I really like this brush for highlight, it's the perfect size, it's like a massive um, blending brush for your eye but it's just a really pretty, a really pretty, it's a really good um, highlighter brush because it just, it's quite precise you know, you can put it where you want to put it. And that is everything for my base face. I am now going to get onto. I think I'm going to do my lips because I know what I want to put on my lips. And if I. I need to do that before I do my eyes because I'm not really sure how my eyes are going to go with it, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm going to be using this Max Factor. I don't know what these are called. What is this called? What is this called? I have the boxes over there. It's the Max Factor Lipfinity thing where it comes with a. Um, stain and then a lip gloss. I'm sure CoverGirl do this if you're in the States or in wherever CoverGirl is sold. Um, but yeah, they're really really good, they're really long lasting and um, the only thing I kind of don't like about them is they do wear away like in the this bit here, what's this bit called? Like just inside your lip. But these are seriously long lasting so um, yeah, be careful when you're applying them because they, it won't come off unless you 
give it a good scrub. So I'm going to be using the shade, I think this is called Spice or Spicy, but the, there is no name on it, which is really old. 070, that's the number. I think it was called Spicy or something like that. So I am going to try and apply it on camera, but I don't think it's gonna really work that well. So I'll zoom you in and zoom, zoom you in and give it a go. Now you kind of got to like not touch your lips together and let it dry because it's like tacky at the moment and if I touch my lips together it will ruin the colour and it's really 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 pretty and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to have to pause and come back to you. <laughs> so the only thing about these lip kits is that um, they are kind of expensive for like what to call it, like a drugstore boots. At the moment, Max Factor, well, when I bought this last week, they had like a two buy one, get one half price deal on the whole of Max Factor. So I got two of them then, but 10.99 is a little bit much. And you automatically, when you buy it, you get one of these lip balms. And if you've already bought one, you know, you don't really need two lip balms. Like I've now got three lip balms and I have only used half of my first one. Um, so yeah, but it's a nice, it's not really a lip balm. I don't really know how to describe it. It's kind of like a gloss, coat you could leave it and put nothing over the top and have it as more of like a this kind of a finish but I prefer to have a little bit of moisture over the top so I'm just going to apply that I'm actually so in love with this colour when I picked it out I didn't think I was going to like this one as much like when I got it home and played with it but I actually love it it's so so pretty and um now I am going to do my eyes so so firstly, I'm just gonna take a little spoolie brush and just kind of brush through my brows because they looked a little bit unruly. So yeah, now I've done that, I'm gonna use this, um, is this L'Oreal or Maybelline? L'Oreal Brow Artiste um, Super Liner. It's teeny tiny because I've used so much of it and it's kind of old, but I'm pretty sure you can still get a similar thing. I have it in the shade 02 Blonde and it's a really nice ashy colour. Um, yeah, it's not the most pigmented thing at all, but I find I just use it to just fill in a couple of little gaps in my brow, which is what I'm going to do. I have like a little dip here, so I'm just going gonna, gonna to use that. And because it's not so pigmented, it's kind of forgiving if you do make a mistake, you can just kind of blend it out with your finger. Now, the next thing I use in my eyebrows, they look suddenly look really dark. I don't know whether it's just the lighting or what, um, is another high-end product, but I love this so much and I haven't found a, an alternative from, like, a more affordable alternative that I like just as much. I know a lot of people say that the Rimmel Brow This Way is very similar to this. It is the, um, Benefit Gimme Brow, but I don't think it's quite the same because the brush is too big, so try that and if you like it but you think the same, then I would definitely recommend this. A bottle of it lasts me about six months. I probably shouldn't keep it that long, but at £18.50 for a tube, I am going to keep it until it is empty and I'm getting near the bottom of this tube, so we shall see. I literally just comb it through my eyebrows and because I know that this one's sort of running out, I've lately been finishing it with a little bit of wax from an old eyebrow kit I've got. I just like rub it through my eyebrows and I find that that just keeps them in place all day, like completely foolproof. Okay, so now for my eyes, I'm going to use this Makeup Academy, or MUA, Undress Me 2 palette. This is basically the Naked 2 palette. Um, I know the Makeup Revolution have got a dupe for it as well, so find a, a Naked 2 palette dupe and you can use that. This is just the one I've got. Um, I did want to use the first shade, but I've just remembered that I finished that, so... Well, there's a little bit left, but I can't really get that out. So I'm going to just play with some shades, I think. I think I'm going to start off with kind of these two here. So I'm going to take the lighter one first on just a plain old shadow brush from MUA. Oh no, do you know what? I've forgotten to prime. My primer I use is the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer, which I keep saying I'm going to buy a new one of and I keep not. Um, I will eventually because this is really old, but it still works. So. So yes, I'm going to take the light shade on this MUA E1 brush in Kind of in my inner corner. I don't want to make it too shimmery. I kind of wanted to use a matte colour, but I don't have one in this palette and I'm too lazy to go get another one. So we're rolling with that. Okay, so now I'm just going to take the more golden shade 
on no actually do you know what? i'm not going to use the golden shade i'm going to use this shade down here these kind of three here i'm just going to play with those because i like those shades they look really pretty i'm going to use the lightest one and just going to kind of put that in the center of my eyelid i'm not very good with eyeshadow so we're just going to basically go with it we're just going to put that there yeah got that and on the other one this has turned out to be really really shimmery i did not want it to be this shimmery and now we're going to take this one down in the corner on another brush. That one's dirty. I need to clean my brushes. Give me a clean one, please. That one's clean enough. We'll take this. It's a crown brush without a name on it, so I can't tell you what it is, but it's just like a kind of fluffy brush. And we're going to put that in the outer corner and hope that it looks good. Such a fail. And I'm going to take that one's expensive. I'm not going to take that. Another crown brush this is the pro blending crease and i'm going to take this matte color up here and i'm just going to put that in my crease and then that will be the eye look done i think because i don't want to overcomplicate it yeah and that will do it's probably the worst eye makeup i have ever done congratulations to myself um, yeah, actually I'm going to put eyeliner on because then that will hide some of it. I'm going to use this Kiko Precision Eyeliner. Um, you know how to put eyeliner on, you don't need to watch me do it. I look so pale! What's wrong with this camera? Okay, so, um, I'm even having eyeliner issues. My eyeliner doesn't look very black, but we're just going to go with it because this is just a bad makeup day. And if this gets uploaded, it's probably because I had nothing else. So to finish it all off, I'm going to use the new Max Factor Voluptuous False Lash Effect Mascara. I'm a massive fan of the original False Lash Effect, so I had to pick this up the other day. Um, the weirdest wand I have ever seen. It's like a swirl of, um, you won't be able to see it, just look up pictures. I can't be bothered to zoom in. Um, no, I can't be bothered. That, that's not the right way of saying it. Now people are going to think I'm lazy. You can't really see it, but it's just a really odd wand. It's like a swirl of really super long, spiky, like, lot, like, not even like brush bristles, they're like plates of rubber. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to apply this for you. I think it's okay, it's just not as good as the original. Um, so it's kind of a bit gimmicky. Yeah, so that, that be all of my makeup done. It doesn't look quite so bad now I think that I've got the mascara and eyeliner on, but that eyeshadow was just terrible. I don't know really what happened. I wanted it to be more matte than it ended up being, so yeah, I'm going to take my hair down. And yeah, that is everything for me today. Um, If you guys have any kind of get ready with me requests, you want to see ones with using just like one brand and stuff, I might try and do something like that soon. So I will see you guys later. Bye!